Morning, folks. Beautiful day here on the homestead. Today is going to be pretty exciting. Alan is coming to pick up Prince Jack. So we're going to take him through his paces, going to show Alan how to drive a little bit and get him prepared for when he goes home uh, and try to work through any unforeseen circumstances that might occur. Um, this is always an exciting day for me because the owners of the animal get to see what it is I've been doing with their with their animal up close and personal, not just on video. So we've got to take and do that today. Uh, but first I have to feed Sunshine. I uh, got to go make her a bottle, get her fed and get everybody else fed, get some things cleaned up and get this day underway. So come along with us. So Alan just showed up and he's got a surprise on here for me. He brought Pearl to me. We had talked several weeks ago and after I worked with her, I really liked the little mare. So we made a deal and I'm gonna be training Pearl and see where she goes in life. So we're gonna get her unloaded Get her over here in the pen that Jack was in, get her settled in, and then Alan's gonna get an education in driving. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I'm so excited for what Moses has done with Jack, and can't wait to see what he's gonna do with Pearl. I can't think of a better fit. So, anyway, we'll get her unloaded and put her in here. Seen that on your video. Uh, it watch, just, yeah. it really reinforces that behavior of standing still and. That's up. So right now, are you gonna hobble him or? No, I mean, I'm, I've, I've took him. You've worked him a lot. Worked with him enough, I'm not too. So is this that new? This oh. is the new one, yeah. All right. The other one, the, the britching was, was really um, too long and You want that britching to be about, uh, if you go from, from the croup to the hock and you cut it in half, you want it just, just above half. So right in there is where you, where you want it. Thank you. 
remember to cue with your outside rein. That's just as important as pulling. So if you're going to turn, make sure you cue with that outside rein. Come up. Remember to talk to him. Come up. You, you don't want to have to be kissing and carrying on when you're driving. There you go. Up. Don't oversteer. Do just enough what it takes. Get a handle on it. Yeah. Turn him right in tight, right in against that stump. Step right. Come up. Oh. There you go. I got a long way. It's me that needs to train now, not the donkey. Oh, son. Oh. 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 So when you come back up here, you're going to unhook. He, he's not real tired right now, so I'm going to hobble him just so that I don't have one rein off and I'm distracted and or one tug off and I'm distracted and and then he ends up taking off and because he's young he don't you know he's not he's not a veteran yet yeah. so well Moses let me try it out I didn't do too good but now we're gonna hook him to the chariot and uh, give it a try <laughs> so what do you think you'll do with Pearl I mean what what's what's your end goal with her well at this point I'll just be seeing what her natural aptitude is okay um i try i teach them all to drive uh it's just part of their training awesome i get a, i get a whole lot of uh, stillness out of them by by driving them they learn to stand still they learn to take pressure better so it's it's really good for any horse to be drove that's awesome uh but then we'll just see you know if she's too excitable to pull a carriage <laughs> <laughs> which she might be <laughs> we'll put her under we'll put her under saddle and and uh we'll see what she does sounds great the sky's the limit with a with a young horse we have to operate within their their abilities but we'll see what she does that's awesome cool you want me to bring the chariot over no we'll take him over and put him in it okay i don't I don't work that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you let them do the work. Huh? Yeah. I don't work that hard. Has that tire been staying inflated? Uh, no, I've had to air it up. But it holds there for a few days. Yeah, I don't know. We may have to air it up today. I've got a. Whoa. Oh. I've got a. Uh, uh, compressor up there. If we need to. So. I wish I had more time, but I want to try it out. But then, you know how a Saturday is trying to get everything done. We got to get done. I would, if it was me, I'd build a drag just to practice. Get out there and drive him around in a, in a confined area, somewhere small. Learn your cues. Remember, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna guide here, drive here, just like if you're neck reining. Teaching a horse neck ring. Same difference. Step left, drive with the outside. If you're going to do it with your leg, it would you would go here and drive with that outside leg. Okay. Same way with that ring. Right? Drive with the outside ring. Okay. And command before you pull. The first thing you do will be the last thing you get. So eventually if you say step left or step right, then the, then the animal knows that, that the next thing that's coming is the rain pressure oh, okay and then the next thing that's coming is the pressure from the rain and if you're driving with a, a stock whip you can do the same thing if i'm pulling to the to the left reach out there tap him on the right hip if i'm pulling to the right tap him on the left hip they learn to turn that's awesome so, yeah. you ready big boy come up come up on Moses' video, Back. but how Moses makes it work and how I may make it work, maybe two different things. <laughs> I'm smart enough to know, some people think, just because I saw it on a video, that when they get on, the same thing will happen, but I, uh, I realized that 
The problem may not be oh. with Prince Jack, it may be with me. So anyway, I'll have some a lot of practice to do here. You got a welder who can make you a stone boat, which is basically just a two pipes turned up in the front with a ring and they're kind of bent up uh -huh. and then put you a little just a little floorboard on there and um, hook him to that with a single tree then you can drag that around if you need to add weight you can add weight um, if I had a welder I would have I would have made one but Already looking, I could weld something across here and make a single tree real easy. Yeah, you, it just needs to swivel and hey, was this about the right spot to sit, huh? Instead of right here? Yeah. We we rode in it. He pulled he pulled me and her all the way. That's what you said for miles. Yeah, we went about five miles away. That is crazy. Yeah, he was tired when he got home. <laughs> he was tired when we got home, but yeah. So all I'm doing here is just getting this up out of the way so that when I need to attach it, I can. This one's a little bit harder to hook up, and it's because the shafts are so long. So. Well, once I fit, fit it to him, maybe we'll cut the shafts off or something. Yeah. So this here, you, you just... Put this in, and then can you hold that side up? Is it a pull? What am I holding up? Oh, yeah. That's the... yeah. We'll just go like this. So about right there is where you want it. Oh really? Even though those are too long, you put it near the front instead of back away? Because he's going to turn into here. Oh, I see. It's harder for him. So this britching now is going to go here. Okay. Well, that's why you're saying it'd be nice to have it shorter. Yeah. If he was back here and this was cut off, you know, right here, then this would go here. He would be a little bit farther back. Okay. And it, like I say, he's tugged. They're a little um, short, but I've got a. He's got a chain that is rigged up. Now that's smart. So I've got these little, and I can adjust it once I get him hooked up. Okay. So I'll just put it in here. Trying to figure out her surroundings, surroundings there. <laughs> She's in heat, so. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to stay with my stud. <laughs> but she did. So, when you hook up right here, you may... I'm, I'm in the third hole. Just count holes. If it looks too tight, um... It's a little tight. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna let it out to the last hole. But it didn't pop up if you sat in the front, right? No. It kind of put enough weight in the front. Yeah. Cause I've been in some carts that it pops up, pops the wheelie and then you're having another one. Oh no. We used to have a little, uh, little miniature. And we used to drive him every Sunday. We would go out for a, for a drive. That looks a little off, don't it? Get it hooked up here and find out.
getting on here is uh, come up you see how short the reins are because the shafts are so far out there come up the tire flat no it looks pretty good Step right. Step right. Step right. Good lad, that. Ooh. Back. 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 Ooh. Ooh. That is awesome. Come on up here, bro. All right. Am I taking over for you? Oh. 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 We'll, we'll both ride around. Kind of see how it is to turn now that he's in the shafts. Come up. I'd say his rings are kind of short because the shafts are so long. But then I can make him turn a square around. See how I hung on it here? Yeah. So if you need to encourage you, you can reach out there. Step right. Come up. Come up. Don't be afraid. We need to be out on him. I'd love to we get some video of it. You want a video for me, maybe? Or? I don't know. Uh, right here. Go ahead. Like that, stop trying to steer okay. and just get some forward motion. Okay. Just like you would on a colt. If you have a colt that's not wanting to go somewhere, yeah, just get them going anywhere. Just get them going <laughs> anywhere and then modify. All right, let's go, boy. Step right. All right. Come up. Step, step. Reach down there and get your, get your, get your stick and just pass the wheel forward. Say, come up. Come up. Now tap it. Tap it. There you go. So now you've got forward motion. So now you can use your left side. Back here, you don't want to get hung on something. Yeah. <laughs> Step up. Don't worry about steering. Still have wind in your There you go. Now you move it. Now you can modify it. They get locked up in one side of their brain. So if, find out where he's bracing. So if he's if he's got his head cocked right. Cocked right it's, it's probably his left side. Bump that. Bump that rein. Okay. If he's pressed this way, bump that right rein. You'll get him loosened up. Then you can go back, 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 back. When you back up a horse for the first time, it's not both reins. It never is. Okay. It's whichever side they stopped on. That's where the most pressure's at. So you back that side up, back that side up, back that side up. Pretty soon you get them working in unison. Say. Oh, he was a joy. Kind of rekindled a, a passion of mine teaching teaching horses how to drive, and uh, I'm I'm kind of rehooked.
kind of kind of did something for me in my soul so uh, I, I was really glad that that we had this opportunity and thank you guys for everything you've done and uh, I'm I'm super excited about Pearl and having a project to work on so well I love how you end your videos so you mind ending the video for us today oh oh he ends with a scripture every time so folks remember be not weary in well-doing, for in due season ye shall reap, if ye faint not. We'll see you later. I love that. Thank you. <laughs>